Hi, and welcome to this, the second tutorial walkthrough type thing for Signal, our Max for Live toolkit for creating, modifying, and outputting signals that can be used to control parameters, affect audio, or create control voltage for modular gear. Now, in this demonstration, I'm gonna be taking a simple macro mapping and turn it into a complex macro mapping with time delays for each parameter. Okay, so to do so, we're gonna be using the spread module to further modulate the delay times. Let's listen to what we're working with. This is a serum patch with some automation on a macro control. <laughs> Within Serum, the macro mapping is controlling six, six parameters um, with specific ranges. This results in a very complex sound, as you can hear. In order to add time differences between the parameters, I've recreated the macro mappings using Signal right here. As you can see, the macro in Serum is gone. And instead, all the parameters it was controlling are now being controlled by signal. I've copied the ranges for every parameter from Serum into the remote modules. This can be done quickly using the range mapping feature. The dial right here outputs the automation. And what we're trying to do is delay these individual parameters with different time values. To do so, I'll spawn a delay module from Signal's browser and I'll deactivate the automation for it. As we will modulate it later on, anyways, using this input. I'll also set it to raw mode because that means we'll have full control over the actual milliseconds of the, of the delay. Okay, so to delete all the dial connections at once, simply click on its output whilst holding down the Alt key on your keyboard. Now let's duplicate the delay module six times. That's once for every parameter. And I'm gonna connect all the delay modules to the remote modules as well as the dial output to every delay input. This will be quick. Since every delay module is set to zero, nothing should be delayed, and the sound shouldn't have changed at all. And this is where the fun begins. We can give every parameter a different delay time for some interesting sounds. You can see it happening when I manually move the dial up and down. But instead of setting the delay times directly, we can go a step further and use the spread module. The spread module outputs values generated by a visual graph. In this case, we can use it to control the delay times. Let's connect it to the delay modules. One output for each delay so that we can control every single delay time individually. Within the options of the spread module, I will set its units to time. This way we can see and work with millisecond values. The delay modules, of course, are set to expect milliseconds as well. Now we can start creating a curve and we should see the delay times move accordingly. I have to actually zoom out a bit to use even greater values. Let's go even further just to see clearly that it works. It's probably, uh, probably way too much to be fair, but let's listen to it anyway. That's the fun of Signal experimenting. You can see at the bottom in live how the parameters are delayed when I move the dial but let's find a better sounding combination. That's better.
better, but I don't want the values to stay like this forever. Let's switch to the second curve and make a new shape. <laughs> Since we have both curves loaded in these two boxes right here, we can use a fader to morph between the curves. Actually, I don't like curve number one, so how about setting to naught so they act as a bypass? Of course, we could now go ahead and automate the curve numbers or the fade, but why not just use an LFO for that? The LFO is also automatable, so this can get complex very fast. Let's experiment a little bit more. This is just the start. We can add as many curves to the spread module as we want. And remember, the main movement is still being controlled by this single automation. Thanks for watching. I hope this video gave you the start of some ideas for some crazy projects. We'd love to see what you've put together. We'd love to see what you use Signal for. Get in touch, join in, find us at facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash signal dot users. See you next time. Cheers.